slow start. Um, we, we have no excuses. Um, you know, we, we had great looks, um, and we they were the better team tonight. But the, the slow starts um, are an issue. We talked about it earlier, um, and we we're hoping at some point, you know, it turns and uh, we can talk about it, but we have to work at it and, uh, and execute. And tonight we just didn't do that for, for the whole 48 minutes. With uh, Luca's uh, shooting struggles, is that did they do something to kind of uh, create that, or is he just in a little bit of funk? Yeah, I think um, he's, he's missing shots that he normally makes, um, and so there's no concern. And that's just not him, but everybody. Everybody's getting good looks. Uh, they're just not dropping. Um, but we have to mentally, and I've said this before, we have to get better at that. That's just the nature of this game is makes and misses. If you're going to rely on, you think you're going to make every shot, um, then you're lying to yourself. And so we have to get better at that. And uh, it, it creeped into into our game tonight that we weren't making shots. We got frustrated, and so we, we can't get frustrated. we got to continue to keep playing. On the topic of Luca, how much is you know his struggles from three so far something that you or your staff addresses with him, versus how much do you just kind of let him play through that and, and find him, his rhythm on his own? Yeah, I think uh, um, I'm new to this. Uh, I think he kind of went through this last year. Mm -hmm. So... Um, Understanding that we, as a staff, will, will, will help him in the sense of being there to, to work on his game. Um, but he's gone through this before, so this isn't his first time. Um, and everyone does through, through a season, and sometimes it's better to get it out early than in the middle or late in the season. So that's one positive way to look at it. But um, he's got to continue to take those shots, and we'll watch film and, and help him and show him what's there available if he doesn't like that jump shot. I know you'd rather have everybody healthy, but is it always kind of nice to get a guy into an NBA game for the first time like Eugene? Yeah, you know, I think Eugene did a great job, um, you know, for his first NBA game, um, you know, because of our health. Um, but that's also what we're, you know, the big picture is being able to develop, to have guys like that or with uh, our two-way, uh, with the legends and being able to call guys up and being ready to play. And I thought Eugene did a good job in his first NBA game. Um, okay, we'll move over to Zoom. Kevin? Jason, nights like this are always tough, but how quickly do you flush away a game like this but still find things to learn from to get ready for Sacramento on Sunday? Yeah, th this is one that you will flush, but you, before you flush, uh, you have to take away you know, some of the things that we can control, and that's our energy and effort. And we'll talk about that um, as we go forward. Um, but, again, we have a... <laughs> a game at 2.30 on Sunday. Uh, so we have to turn the page and get ready for Sacramento. Leonardo? Coach, today you only had 14 assists and 15 turnovers. Are you concerned about his poor ball movement and offense? Um, well, when you shoot 29%, um, um, how many assists do we have, 14? That might be a, yeah, a, yeah that, that's probably impressive to be able to have 14 assists on 29% shooting. Um, and so um, when you have games like this, it, no matter how you look at it, it's just bad. So um, the turnovers uh, we can we can look at and, and get better at. But this, again, you know, for us, there are no excuses. We, we should we should have been better, um, and we weren't. How much of a game tonight, like tonight, do you – try and take things away from it and learn from it or versus you just kind of try and flush it and move on um, after a night or tonight? Uh, I think it's a little bit of both, uh, you know. Obviously, it started with me, you know. I got to be way better. Uh, that game is on me. Uh, but I think a little bit of both, you know. Uh, you try to forget it as soon as possible, but you, at the same time, you got to learn from it. Back to last year at the beginning of the season, and you were having kind of a slow start from three. What did you learn then, and what do you think you might be able to take from that experience to what you're going through now? I mean, yeah, you know, it's just the start of the season. Uh, I think it was the same last year or even worse. You know, I just gotta keep trusting my shot. You know, I know it's gonna gain, going. Uh, had a long summer, so you know, uh, I think the shot's gonna fall in. Do your legs feel a little bit tired? Still feel that a little bit push? I mean, it was. I don't, 
that's not an excuse, but you know, it was a long two months with the national team, so I'm just still uh, trying to get to get better. Not as an excuse, but do you notice? The difference in altitude up here. Yeah, yeah, especially back to back. Yeah, I was gonna, that's you know, I think it's always in the first quarter. You know, when I most feel it. But you know, today I felt it. You know, I would say, even the referee said to me, I feel the altitude. Okay, we'll move over to Zoom, Kevin. Look in a game like this, where not only yourself but your teammates are struggling from the field. How do you continue to keep them encouraged as well? I mean, I think we still didn't play a good game, you know. I think we won three games, but we still didn't play a good game, uh, especially offensively. I think uh, we're really good on, not really good, but good on the defensive end. Uh, we just got to be better on offensive end, you know. But this game's going to come. It's not going to be the last one, and it's not the first one. So we just got to, like I said before, learn, learn from it and forget. Forget about it. Okay, um, we'll do one in Spanish. Leonardo, go ahead. Lucas, te saludo a Leonardo Torres de Perú. Espero que estés bien. Lucas, ¿por qué les está costando tanto los primeros cuartos? Eh, no sé, no, no te puedo decir por qué, pero bueno, hay que mejorarlo. Eh. Hay que mejorar eso. Maybe not totally ideal circumstances, but how did it feel to get your first regular season action tonight? It felt good um, coming out there in the last minutes. It felt good. Just playing my game and sticking to me, it's not the result we wanted, but like I said, it was I did my part and I came out and just do what I do, to be honest. Were there any moments that are going to stick with you, you know, just from like a, hey, I'm in the NBA for real now experience kind of thing? Uh, yeah, for sure. That's what, that's for sure going to stick. But I'm a competitor and I, I've been playing basketball for a while now, so I just treat it like another game. So that's, how, and that's kind of how I took the approach. So what's it like when you sit there in one of your first plays? You're looking up at some guy who's like seven foot nine or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen that my whole my whole time playing basketball. I just, I just know my tricks to get around them. I know my I can always trust on my footwork to get the bucket. So I'm cool with that. What uh, do you know? What your uh, year is going to be like, and how much time you're going to spend up here, to, or 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 with Frisco? Uh, no, no clue right now. I'm just anytime they need me up here, I'm going to come up, and anytime they need me in Frisco, I'll go to Frisco. That's how I, that's how I'm going to approach it, and I'm just blessed to be playing the game of basketball. I just take it like that every day. You're in, you've already five games in. You're already yeah. NBA experience. Yeah, 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 yeah. It feels good. It feels good for sure.